Well, we're always hopeful and uh, as you know the negotiations are continuing, uh, we've got our, our teams uh, still out there in Brussels and uh, you know, if there's, if there's uh, a, a, a big offer, a, a big change in what they're saying then I, I must say that I've yet to, to see it. Unfortunately at the moment as, as you know there are two key things where we, we just can't seem to, uh, to make progress and that's the it's kind of ratchet clause they've got in to keep the UK uh, locked in. Uh, to whatever they want to, to do in terms of legislation, which obviously doesn't work. And then there's the, the whole issue of fish, where you know, we've got to be able to take back control of our, of our waters. So th there's a way to go. Uh, we're hopeful that progress uh, can be made, but I've got to tell you that from where I stand now, uh, here in Blythe, uh, it's looking, it's looking you know, very, very likely that we'll have to go for a solution that I think would be... You know, wonderful for the UK. We'd be able to do exactly what we want from uh, from January the first. Obviously, it would be uh, different from what we'd set out to achieve. But I've no doubt that this country can get ready and, uh, as I say, come out on World Trade terms.